a bunch of movie clips. Hey, hey, I heard that, Alec. Negative 14 now. That's what you get. Yeah. And welcome to the 378th edition of a show about trivia, movie trivia. Go for the record. As a tag team. Negative 17. I'm in the middle of the intro. Dang it, Alec. Uh, we're about to start the 2024 tag team tournament here in A side here. So we are buying to get into round one. Four tremendous people equaling two tremendous teams. We got Alec. We got Steven calling themselves Stillwater. That's an almost famous reference, isn't it? How you guys doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right. right. Ready to, uh, all right, what an intro. <laughs> and their opponents, uh, better watch out or they uh, might make you scream. Get it? Because they like the movie scream. It's Hunter and Carrie Webb. How you doing? Okay. Uh, Hunter Chambers and Carrie makes it sound like Hunter and Carrie Webb. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> doing great. We are, we're doing amazing. Thank you for having us on, JPO. Absolutely, absolutely. Although Hunter is frozen in a smiling stance. Am I the only one seeing that? You're moving now for me, Hunter. Am I good? I see. Oh, he... but yeah. oh I don't know. He's frozen for me. Right, hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now he's not frozen for me. Yeah, maybe it's me. Okay. But for some reason, it was just us. I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, it's a tag team tournament, but basically played like it's a singles match. Uh, but we got combined scores this time. So you could get up to 40 points tonight. Low, uh, but the overall winners will be the one with the overall best score. Uh, if you need a repeat and extension, just let me know. Uh, I think we said about four or five of those. I don't know, one of those up here. So, best of luck to everybody here. Question number one Who directed the films Romancing the Stone, The Death Becomes Her, and What Lies Beneath? Directing question off the cusp. And we are at five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Alec. I put Nora Ephraim. And what you got, Steven? One of my favorite filmmakers of all time, Robert Zemeckis. And Hunter. Robert Zemeckis. And Carrie. Yeah, I couldn't pull it. I said Nancy Myers. Well, at least half the team did, keeping it a tied game with Robert Zemeckis. What actor and actress starred in 2017's The Mountain Between Us? And again, we are looking for one actor, one actress. Ace had rules if no one can pull both, but those that pull both will be the ones with the points. So who's the lead actor? Who's the lead actress in this movie? Where there evidently is a mountain between them. Give you a little more time since I'm asking for two names, although it looks like most people are in. That extra time is gone with five, four, three, two, one. Steven Shepard. I'm going to kill the um, the real rejects if I get this wrong because of them. Kate Winslet and Idris Elba. And what you got out? Oh, I was a little thing, Jeremy Renner. Uh, Hunter. I said Nicole Kidman and Jeremy Renner. It's weird that you both went with Renner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I said Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. Idris Elba and Kate Winslet is correct. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, they are. I was afraid that. I almost I would, couldn't remember Elba or Alba thanks to the <laughs> Oh, geez. Who played <laughs> Effie Trinket in the Hunger Games franchise? Yes, now I'm looking for Jessica Alba's brother. <laughs> I just got done watching Eternal Sunshine for the 40th something time. Great movie. It's okay. Just kidding, I love it. <laughs> funny, I funny would that be if all of a sudden I was like, I liked it for the 43rd third time, and then I realized, nah. <laughs> and five, four, three. One of my favorite movies of all time. Just kidding, I was watching. I didn't want that to be the El Gore thing. Two, one, pens down, Hunter. Nothing. Uh, Carrie. Elizabeth Banks. Alec. I'm on the board, Elizabeth Banks. <laughs> and Steven. Elizabeth Banks. With that, Silkwater takes the slight lead there with Elizabeth Banks Good being job, correct. Mm -hmm. What year saw the release of Silkwater? Yeah, that dog's a big Heat fan. 
Or maybe he's in heat. I don't know. Three pretty big films here. And five, four, three, two, one. Carrie, what you got? I said 1997. Hunter, what you thinking? I said 1996. Alec, what you thinking? Uh, I was between 95 and 97. And uh, Steve, man, what you got? It is 1995. 1995 is correct. Everyone pretty close. Thank you, Brady. So clean and sweep <laughs> on that. What 2001 rom-com stars John Cusack, Julia Roberts, Seth Green, and Billy Crystal? And hit you with that with that five and that four, followed by a three, followed by a two, and then I believe a one. Pans out, Alec. Uh, I went gross point blank. Steven, what you got? America's Sweethearts. Carrie. I didn't. Get it. And Hunter. Uh, no, Steven no. did get it though. America's Sweethearts. Good. Who plays the priest and the father of Leonardo DiCaprio in Gangs of New York? And we got that five, four, three, two, one. Pat's out, Steven. That's uh, Liam Neeson. Alec. I'm on a good old blank board. Hunter. I said De Niro. And Gary. I also said De Niro. <laughs> uh, in a lot of his films, but it is Neeson's, Liam Neeson. I think Robert De Niro was his father in This Boy's Life or something. Or- yeah, sure, they're, uh, they're, they're in so many movies together. What actor will you find in Urban Legend, Fight Club, and Blade Runner 2049? Let's go, Urban Legend. Hey, shout out to Urban Legend. Easy the best of these three, am I right, everybody? Just joking. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> And five, four, three, two, one. Hunter, who is it? Hey, Paul, it's Jared Leto. And Carrie? Jared Leto. And Alan. I felt like destroying something beautiful, Jared Leto. And Steven. Jared Leto. As a clean sleep for the best Joker, I'm sure no one would disagree with that, Jared Leto. <laughs> uh, Stillwater getting to double digits with that. Who played widowed American president Andrew Shepard in 95's American President? It would help if I knew what this movie was. Oh, it's one of my favorite movies, actually. Who, who strikes you as a as a president in 95, Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> and five, four, three, two... One pens down, pens down. Carrie. Oh, I said Martin Sheen. And what you got, Hunter? I said Denzel Washington. Okay. And what you got, Alec? Uh, Bill Paxton. And Stephen. Funny thing is, Martin Sheen is in this movie, but it's Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas is correct. Michael e. Douglas. Uh, name the 2015 Holiday County. That stars Diane Keaton and John Goodman as a divorcing couple. Ooh, John Goodman in a holiday comedy. He is. He's a good man. This from whatever. And it's not Flintstones. I'm positive on that. Unless there's a sequel in 2015, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry though. You got plenty of time to figure out. In fact, you've got five. Four, three, <laughs> two, one. My favorite joke never gets old. Pens down. Uh, we had Carrie. What you got, Carrie? Uh, I said four Christmases. 
Close-ish. Uh, Hunter. Nothing. And what you got, Steven? <sighs> Couldn't pull it off. And Alec. Another one. Is it the last person? Oh, you know what that means, don't you? You blew it! Uh, Chris Diaz either knew it or Googled it. It's Love the Coopers. Love the Coopers <laughs> where Steve Martin voices the dog. Also a fun time. It's a big favorite. Uh, what 2007 action comedy takes place in the English country town of Stanford? Hey, I didn't say to ask about all great movies or well-known movies. It's trivia. Every movie's fair game. I can ask from The Godfather to Freddy Got Finger. You never know what I'm going to ask. <laughs> from Citizen Kane to Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. You never know. Hey, Pooniverse coming soon. Pooniverse, baby. I, I hate him Blood and Honey, but you know I'm going to watch Pooniverse. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, four, I definitely am. Three, two, one. Let's start back up at the top. Alec, what you got? Hot Fuzz. Steven. It's a total guess, but I also said Hot Fuzz. Hunter. Yep, a guess for me, Hot Fuzz. And what you got, Gary? Yeah, it's definitely Hot Fuzz. It has yeah, all the keywords. Hot fuzz. If, if Gary yeah. would have missed that, Chad yeah. would have gone crazy. I feel like it's one of those, like, as long as you give it a little bit of thought, you can kind of pull it here. Uh, quick score update, by the way. Still water in the lead with 13. Prime time at 7, though. Still class of waiting one's game here in the second half. It's happened before. So it can definitely happen again. What 90s crime film features the line, you shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologize. I have no idea if they deliver that way. I haven't seen the movie in a while, but. It would be amazing if they did, though. Apologize. This is how I feel apologize. they should say it. If they say it that way, probably. Christopher Walken said it. He'd be saying, oh, shoot me in a dream. Better wake up. Apologize. Apologize. I was getting there, Hunter. Jeez. Negative 12. <laughs> uh, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, wait, that's right. You guys were at negative seven and weren't your water. So let's see. You're at two points then. Uh, <laughs> Steven, what you got? Uh, I, I've never seen this movie. I have no idea what the answer is. Let's just put something in. I put true romance. What you got? Uh, uh, I put Copland. What you got, Hunter? I'm pretty sure this is in the 2000s anyway, but I said Training Day. What you got, Carrie? I said The Untouchables. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong. That's wrong, uh, wrong. Tarantino's first uh, Reservoir Dogs. You'll find that in Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs. Dogs. Well, I mean, Tarantino uh, did write True Romance. So I That's why I said his first. That's why I was saying like, you're kind of in the ballpark. Uh, name the film Drew Goddard directed in 2018 that stars Jeff Bridges, John Hamm, and Chris Hemsworth. By the way, if you're ever looking for good ham, Boar's Head is the way to go. None of that Oscar Mayer shit. None of that. I don't know. Who makes ham? Uh, I don't know. Drew Boar's Goddard. Head is the best. Drew Goddard. I want to say something to you, Hunter, but I'm going to save it for after the answers. Five. I, I, I know where you're going with this, too. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Just don't know me. Locked it in. Lock it in. Pens down. Well, do you remember what the Buffy writer wrote and directed, uh, Hunter? I believe it's la Last Night at the El Royale. Oh, my bug. Carrie. Um, I said Hell or High Water. And what you got, uh, uh, Alec? <laughs> uh, bad times at the El Royale. <laughs> bad times at the El Royale. God and damn it, Steven. Uh, bad times at the El Royale. Uh, I don't know. They, they I've gotten this question wrong so many times. So <laughs> it's just um, highly recommended, man. It's a tight script. It's all. It's all. It's only other movie I think besides Captain in the Woods that he directed. So yeah, check yeah. it out. Something uh, what 1994 movie finds James Spader going to an intergalactic mission with Kurt Russell? Hmm. And five, four. Three, two, one. Pens down. Carrie, what you think? I don't have anything. All right, honey, you got some? 
Nothing. All right. Teamwork. The uh, Alex, what you got? Uh, Stargate. And what you got, Steven? Stargate. Before the TV show, there was a movie called Stargate, and that's who stars in it. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm glad. Uh, I know Steven hasn't seen one of these. Who directed Beverly Hills Cop 2, True Romance, and Enemy of the State? <laughs> See if he knows who directed it or saw one of the other two. I'm taking a guess here based on one film, and I'm probably wrong. Always shoot your shot here in A said. There are no negatives. So there's a five, a four, a three. A two and a one. Alec, what you think? I put Michael Mann. All right. I feel like in the ballpark of people. Uh, what you got, Steven? You maybe got it? <laughs> I got it. Tony Scott. And what you got, Hunter? I went with James Cameron. Ah, what you got, Carrie? I didn't have it. Uh, Tony Scott. Yeah, Ridley's Bro. Yeah. Tony is the director of those. Hey, who stars as Rusty Griswold in 2015's A Vacation? Several people have played Rusty throughout the years, but who played him in 2015? In the bad movie. Is it? It's all right. <laughs> and five, four, three. Extension. Well, time for a hunter because we talk about who says Rusty Griswold in 2015 the vacation. I can see his fucking face. What's the fucking thing? Well, if you draw a really accurate portrait, I might give you one. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We'll see the count. Yes. Uh, Ed Helms? What you got, Alan? Oh, well, thank God I put the S at the end of it. <laughs> hey, yeah, because we are picking on S's. We have to be here. Yeah, I, was here. I said Chris Hemsworth because I know he's in the movie. Yeah, Ed Helms. He's in it. He's got a huge thing. Uh, Carrie, in the movie. I don't know about real life. <laughs> I said Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Would have been funny as I put Ed Helms in the office, yes. Yeah. Um, who plays the soldier Ryan? Who they mistake for Matt Damon's Ryan in the movie Saving Private Ryan? So many Ryans in that one sentence. Yeah, not the Ryan, the other Ryan is perhaps the other it. Ryan. The I've other seen, Ryan. I've seen so many reaction videos to this movie, so like, and that scene's always in the in the reaction. So. <laughs> Love this. It's scene. one scene, but it's a memorable scene, and is a it would it would no help dude, so. actually seen this movie. Okay, um, <laughs> this might screw up the order, but this is where I remove Hunter from the stream. Seen Tim and Kevin Ryan. Come on, man. Come on. That was a movie they like. They showed us in high school. Like, they, like it was so good. Like, they get Not mine. Up rated R. I mean, well, I'll, I'll I be was, calling your high school later. I was Saving in high school old, when it, it was late. <laughs> I was in high school when it was in when it was in theaters. So. I'm only 21. No patch of that. <laughs> Two, one, lock it in. Uh, Hunter, who hasn't seen this Oscar Nothing. movie, Nothing. All right, cool. We'll carry. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> All right, Alec. Nathan Fillion. And what you got, <laughs> Steven? Castle. Nathan Fillion. It's Green uh, Lantern? <laughs> it's Green. It's, yeah, it's uh, Serenity, Fireflies. Nathan Fillion, yeah, which is so great because it's after the first time I saw it, I didn't know who he was. Later on, I was like, oh shit, it's Nathan Fillion, he's the fake rat. Mm -hmm. uh, who played Megan Price, the groom's overbearing sister in Bridesmaids? <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> I'm not sure if she's in this movie, but hey. She's a shot. Five, four, yep. three. Repeat. Two. Hey, Gary wants a little bit more time. Uh, who played Megan Price, the groom's overbearing sister in Bridesmaids? I don't even think I wrote down the other one. So you're at two. I would be surprised if, if my answer isn't in this film. Interesting. Have you not seen Bridesmaids? <laughs> I've seen half of Bridesmaids. What? 
If you didn't screw up the order, I'd move her moving in. <laughs> I I do enjoy it. I had a laugh or see war sometimes. I don't know. We got I, like that, time. I like that movie a lot, but I wouldn't call it like a must see. To, yeah, I, I might have overdone that. Yeah, but I really <laughs> like it. I think it's in the top like 10 comedies maybe of the decade, 20 comedies of the decade. Uh, I don't remember anymore. Hunter? No, I was like, hey, Hunter, so whatever. Who cares? What you got, Hunter? Team of I don't believe he's in it. <laughs> and Carrie. Hopefully I didn't erase the right name. I put Melissa McCarthy. And what you got out? The Rose Byrne. Oh, damn. Uh, what you got, Steven? Yeah, I I couldn't remember if it was if it's Rose Byrne or Maya Rudolph, but I put Rose Byrne. Here's the funny part. I love when people get upset at someone else's answer. Even though it's correct, it's Melissa McCarthy is what I'm looking for. Oh, so okay. only Carrie gets that point. Well, I uh, had Rose, Rose Byrne. Who <laughs> is it? Yeah. Um... Because, yeah, he put it too early. No, she's not the overbearing one. We're looking for uh, Melissa McCarthy. And she's the Good sister. Job, Carrie. Rose Byrne's just a friend of Maya Rudolph. Uh, Melissa McCarthy's the sister that gets forced upon them because she's the sister. Yeah. All right. And 18. Uh, in Hereditary, who plays Annie, a miniaturist artist. Mind you, horror people get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have this one. <laughs> I'm confident. They're they're showing this in IMAX for the first time here in April, and I'm going. Ooh. God, this is my favorite movie of all time, so I got to see it. I have actually this, never seen this movie. This movie is amazing. It is. Um, it's but it is. It, it is depressing as hell. That was great. I like it more than Midsummer, personally. Five, four, three. I think I like for an Oscar, maybe Carrie Tony Collette and Hunter Justice for Tony Collette, right on. And what you got out? Blasphemy for saying Miss Samara over this, but Tony Collette. <laughs> and I'll boot you from the street. And then what you guys do? Uh, uh, she's the only one besides Gabriel Byrne that I knew know is in the movie, so I went Tony Collette. One of the Wolf Brothers are in it. Um, yeah, Tony Collette, though. That's a clean sweep for Tony Collette. A uh, bit of a horror queen, by the way. We think of Tony Collette's from Longer, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, oop, I don't mean to edit this question. I just mean to show this question. Here we go. Mm-hmm. What actor can be found in the Sandlot, Suicide King, Small Soldiers, and the Amazing Spider Man? Hmm. Hey, just showed my son the Sandlot for the first time this weekend. Do you remember which actor was in these other movies? <laughs> With that? I do. <laughs> Specifically Ooh. because I saw the, the Sandlot recently. Interesting. Oh, yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Oh, well, just spoil this guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, her. uh, um, um, extension. All right. Looking for an actor. I think we found an old movie, Sandlot, Suicide King, Small Soldiers, and The Amazing Spider Man. That is still I'm sorry, Terry. I'm completely wrong movie. on this one. Or are you right? No idea. No, I'm wrong. Okay, I was trying to give you some hope. <laughs> there is no hope. And five, four, three, two, one. Right, let's see what you assholes think. Uh, <laughs> Alec. I believe it's Dennis Leary. Yeah, that's why I called you assholes. It was a Dennis Leary joke. I'm not being a dick. Steven. <laughs> I hope it's two ends and not one, but Dennis Leary. I'm not a spelling bee. As long as it's some sort of Dennis, we put Ralph no. Anywho, uh, Hunter. <laughs> I said Andrew Garfield. And which he, uh, he's definitely like four. And, and I don't know if he's born with my son, like son. And Gary. <laughs> I didn't have it. Oh, uh, yeah, Dennis Leary, though, which I believe is one end, but not that it matters. All right, so yeah, Dennis Leary. So I think uh, Stillwater clean sweep. Now, your final question here John Cusack and Samuel Jackson star in what two movies based on a Stephen King story? There is two of them, I swear. Oh, damn. Yeah, let's look well, I got Dennis the obvious one. Yeah, the obvious one's there. <laughs> the, the, the obscure one. Yeah, I feel like everyone can clean sweep the obvious one. The, the, the one that might matter is the second one, because that's where we'll get the points. Uh, I was right. Yeah, it is one <laughs> end. If you ever in a spelling bee for actors, which I've done, and I did win on Malcolm's channel. That's right. Spelling bee king here. 
because I can spell Trisal Edgy for her, can you? Five, four, three, repeat. two, repeat. Can't we just end this game, Alec? It doesn't matter. No. Uh, John Cusack <laughs> as Emil Jackson, starring both two movies based on the Stephen King story. A little bit more time for you. That is your second. So you can be a real jerk and ask for two more if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did cross my mind. For the uh, the old Ben Bateman. <laughs> or, or we could go in five, four, three, Repeat. two. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> Damn it, <Connor. laughs> uh, John Cusack, Samuel Jackson. Nah, 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 <laughs> the H repeat gets shorter, by the way. But that's how I always do it. I'm just doing that tonight. And we're there. Five, four, three, Repeat. two. I'll give you five seconds when I'm done saying it. John Cusack and Samuel Jackson starring what two movies based on a Stephen King story? All right, five seconds and I do the five, so ten seconds. And five, four, you're out of them. Three, two, one. I'm watching you, Alec. Uh, Hunter. I only have 1408. All right, that could get you the point, Carrie. 1408 and Sal. Hey, Alec. What's that? This is what Fortune Away and Cujo just threw something against the wall. <laughs> hey, I like it. And what you got to see? 1408, and I didn't think it was that bad, so. Uh, you're wrong in that. It's pretty damn bad. <laughs> but it does get you the point, as well as Carrie will get the point as well. Uh, 1408, a movie called Cell, C E L L. Uh, so, yes, uh, still water with a whopping 27 points tonight, uh, showing they might be a team to be reckoned with. Uh, one primary that also they're in double digits with 11 points and that scoring on the board here. Uh, we'll take a look at the first time I'm revealing this as well. Oh, wait, did I not save it? Uh, ah, screw it. We'll go to interviews first, then I'll show the graphics. I don't think I saved it. Uh, Stillwater, Alex, Steven, uh, plugs, uh, parting words, and uh, your opponents will be Will Cohen and John Marr, the Milwaukee Beers. If you want to do a shout out to them, <laughs> that one's gonna be really, really tough. Yeah, uh, <laughs> game, uh, but no, nah, this is awesome. I, was, I honestly wasn't expecting it to go as well as it did. So uh, some of these movies were right there where like, oh, I just recently watched something with that. So hopefully that can follow my, my, uh, the same next next game. Yeah, I'll try to make sure everything I ask. I'll tell you everything I watch. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's here's the bracket. Uh, Call to anyone who's watching want to see their future matches here. Uh, a lot of great teams getting tizzy with it. Them seventies out combos. Lonely Marks, BMF, Movie Hero, Shampoo is Better, Pork Shop Express Players, Soul Glow, Skeleton Crew, Zigger Town, Lazy Riders, Picture This, Admin and the Ghosts, everyone will be fighting it out, and now um, uh, Stillwater will be joining them. Uh, welcome to Primetime, always a pleasure uh, with you guys. Of course, you're always welcome for the free for alls, uh, everything, anything we do on this channel. Uh, talk a little about your channel's plugs, parting words, what have you guys got? Uh, yeah, so go over and check out Welcome to Primetime, it is our horror channel where we have our podcast. We have our brackets. We have everything dedicated to horror. So go and check that out. Carrie, do you want to plug anything before we head out? Nope. Thank Sweet. you, Gipio. I better that. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. For Alex, Steven, uh, Hunter, and Carrie. Like, subscribe, tell an enemy. If you didn't like it, tell a friend if you did like it. And most of all, we love you more than you'll ever know. Uh, good, good, good night.